Hello guys! Today I will show you how to replace a motor on Saima 5 quad. One motor on my daughter quad died and I can show you which one. I can clearly see that one. So like uh, it doesn't work and it's rotates and spins and after it stops. So it's uh, a de dead motor. And Copter cannot fly with uh, only three motors. So let's replace it. Switch power off and take the prop out of the dead motor. And I also will mark the uh, mark the arm. So to replace the motor you need to remove 12 screws, 3 on each arm. By the way, this is not a bad quote for the beginner to learn how to fly. My daughter probably spent 3 hours of flying it before the motor dies and she get to pretty good, she become pretty good pilot. You can clearly see that this quad doesn't have any guards or legs on anything, so she flies it without it. And she flies it acro mode. Now let's um, re remove the props. Before we do remove all props, so let's mark one of them how it rotates, because there's no marking on it. So you can put them back correctly. Okay, I bought the motors uh, from Banggood. I will leave the link in the description. So you also need to be careful uh, when you buy motors because there are different Simo 5 quads and the motors are different so you need to find out which motors I have for your model. You can see that all I have only two motor guards left, motor bumpers left. The rest was broken by the aggressive flying. Okay, so the body is the top part of the body is removed and now let's remove the motor. When you get the motors from the uh, manufacturer, from the internet, uh, there will be different uh, wires on them. So, on a, on in my case, clockwise motor have red and blue wire. The counterclockwise has white and black. So I need to replace clockwise motor. So you can replace it just cutting the wires and connecting them or you can solder them, which I'm doing. And because it's so tiny, I'm using magnifying goggles to do that. So I do one wire at a time so not to mess things up. Yeah, it's very precise work. If you've never done it before, don't try it. Just do it by the cutting wires and connecting them together. So now we're assembling everything back together. Uh, all the screws put back in place. If some of them not tighten, not, not a problem. You can fly that thing probably with one screw on each leg. It will be no problem at all because it's very small. Let's put the props. I bought different props for my daughter, so I decided to make it a little bit uh, funny. So I bought uh, blue and red ones. And because all motor bumpers are kind of destroyed by my daughter, I need to put legs. It will be not wise to land that thing on the belly without motor bumpers. So that's why I will need to put the legs on it. So and the legs will be also different colors so you can easily see the direction the uh, quad is flying. So it, I will have at the back I will have blue and in the front it will be red. Okay, so it's done. Now let's test it how all works. Okay, switch it on and here you go it flies N no problem if you like the video please subscribe thank you see you next time